Hi there, welcome back to your math workshop for today. So today we are gonna be working on something called pinching paper clips. So let's take a look up here. So in our boxes of paper clips, each box comes with 100 paper clips in each. So we're gonna pinch a bunch of paper clips from the box and count how many we pinched and then figure out how many are left in the box. So when you pinch something, it means that you're pulling up a little bit with your fingers. So pinching up a bit in your fingers. So imagine I have a box of paper clips here. I'm gonna pinch out a bunch. I'm gonna pinch out 17 paper clips from my box. So if I've pinched out 17, there were 100 originally, I've pinched out 17. How many paper, paper clips are left in the box? Okay, so remember there were 100 in all, 100 paper clips in all. And then I took out 17. I pinched 17 out of the box. So we know the total amount, right? We know that in total we had 100. And we know how many we removed because we know that we pinched out 17. So what are we trying to figure out here? That's right, we're trying to figure out how many are left in the box after we pinched some. So what equation could we write in order to show this? Well, so I pinched out 17. So the equation, we could write 100 paper clips in all in the box. And then we pinched out 17. So we took 17 away or subtracted 17. So how many do we have left in the box? Well, let's check out two ways that we could, two strategies that you could use. All right, so I'm gonna use a number line for my first strategy. So, I'm gonna say, let's try jumping back. Since we're subtracting, we're gonna start here at our 100 mark, and we're gonna jump back. We know we're gonna jump back 17, right? So, and we'll see where we land. So we're at 100. I know that there's a 10 and a seven in 17. I could also break that seven down into a five and a two. So, but first I'm gonna start with my friendly number. I'm gonna jump back 10. And I know that if I jump back 10 from 100, I get to 90. All right, so I've jumped back my 10. Now I need to jump back my seven. I wanna to stick to my friendly numbers, so I'm gonna jump back five to start. So 90, jumping back five, and I get to 85, yes. But I still need to jump back two more in order to jump my full seven. So I'm gonna jump two here. 85, jumping back two, and I get to 83. So there are 83 paper clips left in the box. All right, I'm gonna show you one more way we could do this on the number line. So we've tried it jumping back. Let's see if we can try it jumping forward. So I know that we have 17, 17 plus something will get us to 100. We need to figure out that something. So we're gonna start at our 17. All right, so I could jump tens if I wanted jump forward tens until I get to 100. I'm gonna see, let's see if we can jump by 20s. So we're gonna skip count by 20s in order to do that. But first, I wanna to get to a friendly number. 17 is not a super friendly number for my brain, but what's the closest friendly number? The closest 10, I get to 20, right? So if I jump three small jumps, I know I get to 20. Now I'm at a friendly number. So I'm gonna try jumping from 20s to here until I get to 100. So I'm gonna jump 20. 20 plus 20 more, I get to 40. And then I'm gonna jump 20 more. And I, from 40, 20 more, I get to 60. Another 20. 60 plus another 20 and I get to Right, 80. How many more do I need to jump? I need to jump for more 20, right? So one more jump of 20 and I get to 100. So in order to figure out this number that we need, right here, we have to add all these jumps up. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, two, three, and that's 83. All right. So when you're working on your pinching paper clips today, you're gonna make sure that you write an equation, choose a strategy to help you figure out how to get that number. You're trying to figure out how many paper clips are left in the box. So one quick thing, 
you're going to be deciding how many you're going to pinch. So you're going to make the decision first to figure out how many paper clips you're going to pinch. Then you're going to write your equation and solve to figure out how many paper clips are left in the box. All right, good luck, have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time.